What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and this is Tampa Tech Junior. And we're gonna demonstrate and show you how to set up and use this virtual reality headset. I'll leave a link in the video description below where to get it at. And this one actually comes with a Bluetooth controller. This VR headset is called VR Park and is very lightweight. It's all plastic build. It has three elastic bands. It'll fit a child's head and a big adult head. And the back plate right here is soft plastic and it molds to the back of your head. It's very comfortable to wear. And this particular model comes with a Bluetooth controller. It's easy to set up. It uses two AAA batteries. It also has a face pad right here, super soft and it has air holes so it's breathable so your face doesn't get all sweaty and fog up the, um, the lens. Now what you wanna do is you wanna put this cap on right over the dial, just like this. It snaps in. And what that does, it controls the depth. And this dial right here controls the width of the lens. Let's take off the plastic pieces. All right, right here, you wanna open it up. And when you open it up, you're gonna slide this latch inward. That's gonna pop open this clamp right here. And then that's where you set your phone in. So I'm gonna slide my phone in like so and then close it. Now it doesn't close. What you wanna do if that happens is you could take off your case or you could take off, take out this foam bezel and then it should fit fine. There it goes. Now if it doesn't fit, what you could do is slightly bend down on the plastic. Use caution. You don't wanna bend it down too much, it'll break. It's plastic after all. And then it should lock into place. Now I'm gonna take my uh, case off and I'm gonna show you. Now a lot of times with uh, some phones, if you have the power button right here, when I put it in, it hits this plastic piece. So it'll drop right onto this plastic piece right there that you see and turn off my video, which is really, really annoying. Well, the, they designed it knowing that that could happen. So they included foam stoppers. So I'm gonna put one right here, close to the outside, and I'm gonna put the other one right here. Stick on just like so. And if you're using the foam bezel, you wanna make sure you use scissors and cut them out. So now it should fit in perfectly. And then when you close this latch right here, it's magnetic, it should automatically just grab and then prevent the lid from opening that magnet. It's pretty strong magnet. It's not gonna open, don't worry. And if you wanna use headphones, you can actually plug in your headphones too. You just slide it in and then plug it in like that. And then you can use the headphones and it closes. See? But we're not gonna be using the headphones today. All right, next, let's go ahead and take out the Bluetooth controller and set that up. If you're using an iPhone, you wanna slide the switch over to iOS. If you're using an Android phone, you wanna slide it over to Android. It has a spring-loaded joystick, two trigger buttons on top. It has four in-game buttons, and this is the power button to turn it on, and this is the Bluetooth button to sync it. And there's a Bluetooth light letting you know it's in pairing mode. Let's go ahead and put the batteries in. It does not come with batteries. You're gonna need two AAA batteries. Switch that to Android mode. So you wanna increase your brightness and then you wanna turn on your auto rotate and turn on your Bluetooth. We're gonna pair this Bluetooth controller. This is really great for um, a lot of VR games that you know, use Bluetooth controls. All right, so let's go ahead and turn it on. Hold down the G button. All right, and then let's go ahead and hit scan and hold down the at button. And that blue light should blink there it is, right here. Just click on that. And it should be paired. All right, cool, it's connected now. And you can use it as a mouse, see? And then you can use this button to select. And this button is the back. So this is the back button and this is the select button. And I highly suggest getting the Google Cardboard app right here. That's gonna be a hub for all your uh, virtual reality apps. So if you download five or six virtual reality apps, it's gonna be inside this particular app. And as you can see, I already downloaded a couple apps 
and they're inside this app. I'm gonna demonstrate how to take a picture in virtual reality. You wanna make sure you download Google Cardboard app, and I downloaded it, so let's click on that. Let's go ahead and click on that symbol. That symbol means that you're gonna put it in headset mode, your phone. Now the phone is going to be in headset mode. So you got the same image on each side. This is going to, that's what's gonna give you that 3D image. And you wanna line it up with that divider. See that? And that's gonna line up with that white line, just like that, and clamp it in, close it, and then you can look in there and experience the virtual reality. All right, we're gonna do a 3D virtual reality picture. We're gonna go ahead and hit the orange button, and it doesn't start until you move. So let's go ahead and slide it around. Just like that, I'm gonna go slow and steady. There we go. And now it should be ready any second now. It's right now loading the image. Okay, now let's go ahead and select it. Turn it sideways and select the headset mode. And if you raise the volume, you'll hear the audio. Slow and steady. So let's go ahead and slide and you can look right and you can look left. He looks distorted because he was moving the whole time. Now let's go ahead and click on Google Cardboard again, and you can do 360 YouTube videos. Click on that, and let's select, and you want to turn it sideways, and turn your phone sideways, and then click on the screen, and then touch on the headset icon. And if you want to control, if you want to select something using the controller, what you want to do is you got hit the left click button or this is actually the select and you can hold it down and you can move the screen up and down that way all right so let's go ahead and select something we're going to select doomsday volt and just hit this button right here to select and then move your arrow to that bottom corner and let's go ahead and select that headset mode you hit the back button right here, and then you just pause it, and then play. And when you get out of that, hit the back button again. So I'm gonna select this app right here, Darkness Roller Coaster, for my son. Oh my god, that was scary! I thought I was gonna land in the lava. What? Yeah, yellow. I love yellow. Dig it! Get that! Teleporting in three, two, one. Is it cool? Yeah. Ah! So guys, if you found this video informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you know anyone that may be interested in the VR headset, go ahead and click on the share button and click on the subscribe button if you want to subscribe for more how-to videos like this one.